came up with the idea that I would go out on the streets and try to see uh, the awareness that the community actually has regarding the issue of the city. Really my purpose is to go out and see the positives and negatives that the services of the city provide for the homeless youth. I'm going to go out and try to make this as real as possible. So it's going to be cold, it's going to be a struggle to figure to find a place to sleep. It's time to start. And we'll see what happens. But it's already cold out, the sun's going down, it's like 45 degrees. As soon as I walked away and as soon as as soon as the sun went down, the city turned turned totally different. I started walking and started noticing certain things that I wouldn't normally notice. You notice people that look like they're in trouble and notice notice that they have issues. So it's pretty it's been a good day one. Definitely more eventful than I thought it would be. Frightening to say the least. But at the same time pretty educational to hang out with Ray, the homeless guy who's been in Manchester for 33 years. He started walking towards my direction. I was like, I wonder if he's gonna walk by me or not. And that's kind of how I felt the whole night. Like you walk, you're walking down the street, minding your own business, and I mean, you don't know if that person that's walking by you is gonna say something. You have no idea, and that's the worst thing. You know, you're frightened, you're scared, you don't really want to talk to, you don't want to talk to anybody because you just, I mean, you just don't. He actually, he dropped uh, New Horizons as the uh, shelter. He didn't like the shelter, he said the shelter sucks. They're not nice to him. Um, but I think I'm gonna go there now uh, to try to get a blanket. He said if I go and ring the bell, they'll give me a blanket. He said it's a pretty awesome blanket. It's a wool blanket. And um, I think that's the smartest thing for me to do, considering I'll be sleeping outside anyway. All right, got a sleeping bag, as you can see right there. I asked for a blanket. He said, let me get you a sleeping bag with no questions. Nothing, just went and got it. I'm actually at Central High School. Right now, uh, a couple of stores that are still open on me. That place is Domino's. Ray probably helped me a lot tonight. Uh, he told me New Horizons wouldn't turn me down, and he was right. Alright, um... I was just awoken because I had to pee. And because it's seriously cold out now. Well, I can't even begin to tell you how thankful I am that it sucked out. It was freezing last night. It wasn't too bad until probably about 5 a.m. when I woke up and turned, turned over and realized that the school lights were on and realized it was time to go. Now day two is here and this is where the real stuff happens. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna eat, how I'm gonna eat, uh, where I'm gonna sleep tonight. So I just went to uh, New Horizons, which is the shelter around here. Went with the story that Got kicked out of my house, 19 years old. I noticed on the door that if you don't have your ID, you're pretty much screwed. So I went with that. Um, told them I didn't have my ID. And they pretty much couldn't do anything for me. Uh, I must say, the lady Pam, Pam there, she was an awesome lady and was willing to help me in pretty much any way. Again, they just need verification that I'm indeed 18 or over. And I don't have that on me, so I can't stay there. But they're pretty adamant about not being embarrassed, not feeling scared or getting in trouble. They just didn't want me to sleep on the streets again. So she was going to direct me to um, Child and Family Services. I promised I'd go. And I must say, it was pretty nerve-wracking in there because as soon as I walk in there, there's people noticing, oh, who's the new kid, who's the new guy? And uh, that's pretty frightening, they're staring at you. 
So now, right now, I'm sitting uh, in the corner of. Yep, someone just drove by and called me a loser. Pretty cool. Sitting in the corner of Maple and uh, something else. Just right outside Central. Something to do. Actually, over the past 24 hours, got some change from some people passing by. So that's pretty cool. Got two bucks. There's a store right across the street. Maybe get myself a bag of chips or something. New Horizons is the soup kitchen too, and uh, they told they told me to come back at 4:30 is when they serve dinner, and already at one o'clock there's a line around the corner for food. So um, that doesn't look very promising. I'm gonna get a meal there tonight. So those people in there are absolute awesome, awesome people. Uh, they gave me the whole spiel of what I can do, what should be done. Um, they gave me the option of showering, the food pantry they have there. They just gave me a bunch of options that kids have. Um, they can go to uh, group home and conquer it. I decided I didn't want to do that. She said I can go with a host family somewhere in the city. I didn't want to do that because she was trying to advertise the fact that they're strangers. I'm, who wants to stay with a stranger? You're 17 years old, you've been kicked out or you ran away from home and you're on your own. You want some time to kind of cool, cool down yourself. So there should be a bed somewhere available for a kid like my age that somewhat try to be responsible and there's no opportunity, opportunity like that in the city. Actually in the state, I think she said. Like I said, they offer you showers, laundry, food. Um, gave me uh, this hygiene bag, which was pretty cool. It's got a comb, razor, toothpaste, deodorant, soap, washcloth. She gave me some food cards too. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts and McDonald's. So I want to thank uh, Nikki, Melissa, and Stacy over there child family they're awesome awesome people um, they did exactly what I thought they would do they just reach out to help anybody and, uh, to keep you off the streets that's an excellent operation they have over there that's exactly where youth should go if they need help um, and over at uh, the shelter um, Pam was excellent very nice to me and pointed me in the right direction uh, and this has been a great experience